What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to be going over Luma mats inside After Effects. If you're new to After Effects and you're new to mats, this is going to be a great video for you because I'm going to be explaining the difference between Alpha and Luma mats. So if you're ready, be sure to hit the like button and let's dive in. So to illustrate the difference between Luma and Alpha mats, I created a sequence here. And I have my logo as its own layer. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to, I'm going to show this layer. This is just a ramp. It's a ramp from black to white and with some gradient here. And I'm going to zoom in here so we can see what's going on. And say if we unhide this logo layer here, what we can do is change the target mat. And this is probably what you're wondering how these controls work here. If you don't see these, you can toggle your switches down below. And when you click on a Luma mat, what it's doing is it's reading the layer above it and it's reading its luminosity. So when we unhide that, what you notice is it's only displaying the logo and the whites and the gradients, the white, the lumina, the lu, the, the luminosity of the layer. That's what luma means. And say if we change it to luma inverted matte, what it's doing is it's doing the opposite. When we hide this, it's displaying it in the blacks or the darker parts of the image. Okay, so what's alpha matte? Well, alpha, in contrast to luma, is it's reading the alpha of the layer, or in other words, the opacity of the layer. So to show you that, what I'm going to do is change this back to no track matte. I'm going to move this logo layer up one, and you'll notice that I have the shape layer. It's a black shape layer that's right there. And what we can do is I'll unhide my logo and change it to alpha matte. And now what you'll notice is that it's only displaying the logo into the shape layer. Essentially, that shape layer is alpha. It's only in that area. You'll notice, like, for example, if we toggle the opacity and we lower it, you'll notice that the logo disappears. It's because there's less alpha. Now, the contrast to Luma is you'll notice that the shape layer is black. It's not white. So regardless of its luminosity, you know, since this is solid black, it has no luminosity it's still displaying it in it. It's, dis it's only reading the alpha or the opacity of the layer. So that's the difference between alpha and luma mats inside After Effects. Now let's see how we can use luminosity or the luma mats in a, a real world example. So in this example, I have a shot from a skyscraper. I put my logo kind of outside and I use luma mats to create this type of effect here. So the secret to doing this is using the sky as a luminance and obviously everything else is darker so it's only reading and putting the logo into the sky. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that from scratch. I'm going to click and drag this video to the new composition button to create a new composition. And the key here is to duplicate it. So I'm just going to hit command D on my keyboard or control D on a PC. And the key here is to search for the curves effect here. Click and drag that to your clip. And what you'll want to do is exaggerate the dark parts and the light parts of the image. So click and drag. So click and drag your shadows and your highlights. So it's a dramatic difference like this. And this is the key here. And then go back to your project panel and then click and drag your logo or the graphic that you'd like to display in between these two layers and then change it to Luma Matte. And as you can see, it displays it kind of like in the lighter parts of the image inside the sky and obviously we'll just scale this down and position it accordingly. And you can see using luma mats this is a very quick and easy way to do that without really doing a lot of masking otherwise we would have had to mask that whole window and luma mats is just another way that you can use inside after effects to achieve this type of look. Now, if you're curious on how to, you know, motion track different videos, maybe motion track this logo to that video clip, I did make a motion tracking tutorial. I'll link that right up there. Feel free to go watch that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.